Hello and welcome back to another video. I don't actually know what I'm going to call this video, so we're just going to get into it. Today I will be decluttering um, and moving some of my new stuff that I got into where it needs to go. So it's basically organizing all of my new stuff and then decluttering all of my old stuff. I'm not really decluttering. <laughs> Well, I am actually a lot of stuff, but like I'm not going to go through like how I did last year in the actual drawers because I already pulled all of it out and put them into little baggies. So I'll just be showing you what I already decided. Same thing like this. These are all of my new things that I got from like Influenced or buying it, whatever. And I'm just going to tell you whether or not I'm keeping it. <laughs> so yeah, if you like that, if you like organizing videos, then watch this one yeah <laughs> also like comment subscribe do all that good jazz because clearly people don't watch the end of the video so you gotta say that at the beginning i didn't know that though so yeah let's get into it so first we're gonna start out with this dior box i got it from influencer as you can see and i got this dior forever glow star filter in it let's move this, this is very big there we go put it lower so it's not all close and this is actually pretty good it does its job it's just not my shade and I don't wear foundation so I can't really do this is very mirror I can't really do much with this given the fact that I don't wear foundation and it's not my shade by itself I also don't like shiny things. I like everything to be matte and I will put the shine where I need it to be. So yeah, this is actually really good, but not for me. I already have somebody who's gonna take this. My cousin and my aunt want this. So this is going even though it's brand new because I already know somebody who wants it. These blushes are the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blushes. As you can see, one is empty. This is the one that I'm keeping. This shade is Suave Mauve. It is a natural shade on my skin tone and the only one that I would actually use every day. And that was my criteria for this because not only do I not really like liquid blushes, but I can't wear these shades like layered up a lot, like one dot and it's done, meaning I wouldn't ever finish these. And if I can return it, which I can because I'm still within the return window, I'll just do that instead of letting them expire because what what else can I do with them? So this is Pinky Promise, Coral, Coral Crush, Gorge Orange, and Bronze Bombshell. I have a video of all of these swatched on my face and on my hand and all of that. It'll be linked down below, but it's also literally like the last video or one of the last depending on how many videos I post in between this because it takes me long to edit these type of videos so yeah these are going and this one is staying next we have all of this elf skin stuff and this I'm keeping literally all of it because not only did I I'm so hype for these elf skin products not only because I actually really like elf stuff but because I got four of them in one claim because they're doing this new thing on my on influencer now where you can claim products so you can actually choose if you want it or not and I claimed this and I got all four of these in one little box the box was all you know damaged from travel but it actually was a, a pretty box this is the e.l.f. off makeup remover and it is supposed to be like the Clinique dual phase cleanser thing like this. I got two of these little bottles of samples so to have a giant one is pretty good and I can compare since they're both here. And then I got the makeup cleansing balm. This was my first ever cleansing balm so I already know that it works. I have Clinique now, and that's the only cleansing balm that I have left. And Clinique and Vanilla Co. are my top two, while this would be third. So, I actually really like this. Now, these two, I haven't tried or anything similar to it. 
This is the Gel Year Moisturizer and it literally looks like water. So I 100% will be happy to try this. And this Triple Bounce Serum, I don't really use a lot of serums, but this is just like straight hyaluronic acid. So I like that. And I've been using the um, Good Molecules one and that's been working out fine. So this is my backup to that when I'm done with that because it's hyaluronic acid. So yeah, keeping all of my e.l.f. things. These are a couple of things that I already had. My aunt wanted a sheet mask, so she's getting this. I'm giving a sunscreen that expires in 2026, so I don't need this right now. I'm going to use up all the ones that expire in 2025, so they can have this. And these lashes, very dramatic. I'll never wear them, so it makes no sense to keep harboring them. These were all from Influencer, and they are the Ardell Winx lashes. One is self-adhesive and one is just regular. Um, my cousin wanted these. These are a KVD claim now. This is the pencil eyeliner in Tiger Lily and the liquid lipstick in Queen of Poisons number 10. This is supposed to be the revamped Lolita Tiger Eye Brown, actually, 45. But yeah, these are really nice. I like these, but this is going, this is staying, all of these are going. That's how this is being sorted out. This is the worst smelling perfume slash cologne that I've ever gotten. This is from, okay, well the box not closed. Tom Ford, I was so hyped to get something. It turns out it was little samples, but you know why I'm glad that it's samples? One, it came in this little, uh, package inside of here which is very pretty but also it stinks and I don't like it so it's really good that I only got these little spritzers because I would have hated to have a full size of this nasty smelling perfume it just smells like leather now if you like that scent or if that scent smells good on you great but it doesn't on me and I don't like it so yeah Tom Ford Ooh, Oud Mineral is not for me so all three of these little spritzers have to go. Don't know to who, because I really don't want to inflict this on anybody, but I've just been holding it because somebody might like it. I do not know though. This is something that I actually just got today. It is from Prada and it is Infusion de Liang. What? Whatever the heck this means or says. It's a very clear perfume, but it smells so nice it smells like I wrote in my review that it smells like soap and lemon and hotel like it smells so nice but I don't know how to describe perfume so you know look it up read the ingredients and all that jazz I can't tell you much about it besides I like it and also this box is so pretty actually but I literally got this today and I'm keeping that Gucci I got literally one thing from Gucci when I was at Nordstrom, and it is this, the Gucci Glow and Care Lip Color, and it is in the shade Jody Wild Mauve, 714. I always wanted a Gucci lipstick, and I finally have one. It's kind of like Clinique Black Honey if it was actually purple, because on me, Clinique Black Honey is actually red. So I like this, and it's a similar feel. It is $47 though, so, you know, depends on if it's worth it. But the little event that I went to with my mom, we got a $25 gift card, so it was $25 off, though it still ended up being like $26 because, you know, it's like 50 with Manhattan tax. I'm putting that back in there. I'm keeping that. This, I just put it into my inventory today, so I am keeping it, but I'm only keeping it because I don't want to inflict this on anybody else. It is the Rosso Valentino 111, 111, 101A Hot Beige. It is not beige. It's pink, one. And two, it's dusty and crusty and it looks ashy on me. Now, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, especially because my mom got this exact same one. She's giving all of her makeup things that she got from the event to my cousin. So I can't give it to her, even if I wanted to inflict this on somebody. And it just doesn't look good. I don't think it looks good even on lighter skinned people because you have to have the right undertones for it, you know? 
So this is just not a shade to give out in a sample bag where multiple different people are going to be getting it, you know? Slap in a classic red. So yeah, I'm keeping that though I hate it. Already know I hate it. These two are things I haven't tried out and can't really try out because it's a mascara from YSL and the Touche Eclat Primer from YSL. And I don't wear foundation, so I'm just going to be putting it on my face and seeing how it works. Um, and the mascara, I'm, I don't open multiple mascaras at once because then I won't have one when they all expire. This I like because it has gold in it. I haven't been opening the boxes. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> um, but I'm just trying to get through all of this stuff that I already know what it is. I'm going to review all of the things I've actually tried because all of these things are new to me. And that's why I'm getting them out of the way first. But yeah, this is a declutter. But it's in my inventory, so it's technically a keep. Though I'm only keeping it so I can see if I can do literally anything with it. Because if not, then it's garbage the next time I declutter something. But yeah, that is all of my new stuff. Because I also got a um like blur deodorant thing from this brand. I also got a little deodorant thing from this Bond brand, but that's not something that is skincare, makeup, or hair care, so. I am definitely keeping that thigh friction deodorant thingy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all of my new stuff. Let's go into all of the old stuff that I actually have reviews for. I have two bags. A bag of either expired things or things that I 100% should declutter and things that I probably can declutter but I'm kind of on the fence of whether they're still usable or I could potentially use it that's in this bag so let's start with the stuff that's actually going these bags came from Ulta gift with purchases so I'm gonna be kind of upset if they ever rip because these are actually very functional gonna be a whole bunch of crunching so let me take this out first and then we'll get into it these are the products that either expired on me or i literally do not want to use them anymore so a couple of things that i don't want to use anymore this kosa's oh cloud set in silky this is not only orange but it doesn't really set anything i've tried as you can see to actually use it and it just sucks this is a little sample that i got from sephora though so it's not that important these stranger things lip glosses i swatched them in that video they're all clear they're all clear and they have a lot of big glitter particles in them so even though they feel smooth once you get a glitter particle it's kind of sort of annoying so don't like this Pull these back in this freaking plastic bag as I go along because it's getting a bit crowded. This is one of those pH changing lipsticks from somebody, Princessa maybe. And it's actually nice, but the pH color that it changes to is so bright and disgusting. Cannot. So that's a no. This I actually love, but it literally expired. So even though I got all the way down to the center, as you can see, I had to let it go. And I was using it past this expiration, actually, until I got um, the Laneige Glowy Balm and that replaced this. So I love this, though, but they don't sell it here. You got to, like, get it off of Yes Style or something like that. And that's a lot of hassle. So not getting this again until I can get it easily. But it's amazing. Love to see it. Needs to not be in a pot, though. I hate pots. This I never actually tried, and then it expired. This is a blue glowy highlighter that was not only literally the tiniest bit, but it dried up on me. So even though I was going to use it, even though it was super duper sticky, I can't use it now. And it came with my nail polish. That's the only reason why I got this. This is basically like a free sample. This dried up on me too. This is the Tinted Eye Primer in Champagne. Not only was it shiny and greasy on my eyes, but it 
it's hard at the bottom, so. And this is a liquid lipstick, question mark? I don't know. I kept it because it had a little fish tail. My mom got it for me, and it's expired. But I kept it because it looks like this. Don't know if I'm going to actually still keep it, but it's pretty. This is the Kaja Wink Stamp Duo. The eyeliner is actually really good. Oh, wait. Did I keep the eyeliner? Oh, yeah. Because this is from um, Kawaii Girl Cosmetics. This is the Liquid Liner Lash Glue Pen, actually. Excuse me. This is sticky and runs. I never actually tried it on my eyes because I do not trust that. So... And then this stamp does not work for my eyes. I have the smallest eyes and this is a chunky old, like, like look at how thick that wing is supposed to be. Like you're bugging. So yeah, that was never going on my eyes as a stamp. If I needed to get some extra liner off of it, I guess I would adapt the brush of that into this. But this as a, product it doesn't really function because I never use it so that's why this is going god this is so loud this was in the Ulta like spin whatever get these Ulta products bag this is a lip gloss in velvet mauve and it's actually nice but it's just very watery and it kind of sort of disappears so even though I like that texture it's kind of pointless as a color so gone. Same thing with this Rare Beauty. I actually like this, but I don't really like the color. The texture is fine. I would get another one of these in a different color. <laughs> but it's sort of an orangish red. So yeah, unless I put a more cooler tone lip liner, it doesn't really go well with my skin. But it is nice. This Thor lip gloss is actually really nice, but the flip on it is crazy. So I barely used it and I have other lip glosses. I don't need this given the fact that since I got it, I only used it like twice. It can definitely go. Same thing with this Morphe one. I barely used this even though this was nice because it has this like crazy flip in it. And unless I'm wearing something that looks like this which this case it's like a purple and blue flip it's not really that useful this one is called it's a vibe i don't know if this one's still available i know that thor one is gone now these are all things that i actually didn't want to get rid of but they're expired yay so these are all of my fenty color pop and then essence gloss and pat mcgrath gloss these I swatched in my last declutter and I literally said I would not get rid of them even though they really do stink and then I tried to put it on and it kind of sort of itched my lips. I'm not going to actually like throw them out. They're going to go somewhere in my room but I clearly cannot wear them if they itch on my lips. So all of these are going, these are discontinued so they're kind of irrelevant, the Fenty Mademoiselles. Um, the Colourpop ones I have... I know I had thousand percent Goldie, Infinite Bess, Ellery, and Pitch. It doesn't say it, but the black one's Pitch because it was from the Make It Black collection. Thousand percent and Infinite Bess are my two favorites, though. The Matte X formula is also my favorite formula from these. And Pitch is nice too, but when I was looking for a very brown color, that was one of the ones that I got. And it's just a uh, milky caramelly brown. It's not like, well, not even caramel because it's kind of darker than that, but it's light. It's not like a deep dark brown, kind of like how, um, what is the brown one here called? Um, PMS. Yeah, PMS. So dark. Love it. Love to see it. This is top tier, but literally can't get it because it's discontinued. So fun. And then, like I said, we have the Essence Gloss. This Shine, Shine, Shine gloss is literally discontinued, and I'm only getting rid of it because there was, like, something floating around in it. 
I don't know if it has adhered to the applicator or what, but I saw something in it and I stopped using it ever since. And it's discontinued, so I can't buy it again. So I looked for clear glosses and now I have a couple. This is from Pat McGrath. Like I said, this is Flesh 6. And this is a perfect, like, it's not even orangey, but it is, I don't know. It's just like a perfect reddish orange color but without it being heavy on the orange because I just don't look at an orange. I don't know why. But yeah, all of these I actually do like, but they're expired. Yay! Also, before I get to the things that I technically can still use, we are getting rid of my first ever setting spray, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, because I had it all this time and it only got down to right here. Even though I actually used it quite a lot, I'm confused. Um, but it smells heavy like coconuts. You get used to it though, but it's very wet and oily and I am, I'm an oily person. So no, this was actually my favorite when I was just working between the two, but even though it's just very small, I only got down to here. I clearly didn't use setting spray before I found that Catrice one. Well, I even found redeemed it on super great. And then the last thing for face stuff is this. When Life Gives You Lemons Oil Balance Booster. This I actually do like, but I literally said that if I don't use it between my last declutter and my next one, it has to go. And as you can see from the dust on the top, it has to go. So those are all going. The two settings sprays are expired though. The When Life Gives You Lemons, I don't actually know. It, it worked perfectly fine when I tried it out in my last declutter, but I don't know. These are not expired or anything. I just literally don't use the colors because lunch money is very light and parasol is very dark. So, is this camera tilted? I don't know, it looks like it is. Very interesting. But yeah, they're literally just the opposite ends of what I wear. I wear Wisp, that's my perfect color and even that's not really that perfect. But this is very orange and this is very white. So even though I actually did use these, I would only ever use them for the tip of my nose and clearly we're not getting anywhere with that. So Oops. these can go. And these two ColourPop Super Shocks, Tassel and Cheap Date. Tassel is actually perfect and I still actually would use it except that it's very very white without any sort of translucency and I have a Lorac eyeshadow that literally is the exact same thing and I have the Fenty Diamond Balm so I don't need this anymore and I barely reached for it when I needed to do something like that anyways I'd usually use an eyeshadow that's already in the palette you know. And then Cheap Day, it's just, it's gold with silver flecks in it. I don't even know why I bought this. Actually, you know what? No, I do know why I bought it. It was like $3 or $2. It was cheap when they're normally $6. So yeah, that's actually why I bought this. It was the cheapest one and I was like, why? Now I know why. It sucks. <laughs> This is the Freck Slime Light in Big Bang. Got this from Super Great. Super Great is a defunct app that used to give free products with reviews and coins and all that jazz. It's pointless to explain it. It doesn't exist anymore. But if you are wondering, that's that's what it is. Um, this is a nice highlight. I actually really do like it and I would use it again, but it makes no sense to like keep this in my inventory when I never use it on a daily basis or even semi-frequent basis it's a nice bronzy gold with green all throughout it it's very pretty but yeah this like I said these are things that I technically could still use I just literally know I won't so that's why they're going in this little goodbye these two just recently got but I have so many lip products these are from a random brand, but they're lip balms. <laughs> Whoosh. This Kinship actually finished the first one I ever got from Super Great, then I rebought it as this. 
this is the Kinship Super Melt Vegan Lip Jelly Mask. It is perfect, except when it starts leaking, which is what this one did. It's basically just oil when I try to use it, so it has to go. Like, if I mix it up, it, it you know, creates the same consistency, same consistency it used to have, but I don't want to do that for a lip balm. I'm going to be reapplying a lot. This is the MTU NYC blush in the shade Spring Dust. It's a very nice orange. I recently swatched it in my e.l.f. blush video so you can see it compared to those. I actually like this one. It's a dewy blush with some orangey sparkles in it. But not only do I have the About Face blush, but I have other, you know, eyeshadows and all that crap. So I don't really need this when it literally is expiring and is not something I go towards now. If I need an orange blush, I usually just use the About Face one. So bye bye What is this? Where is the- okay, there we go, the brown one. Okay, this is the Elf Cinnamon Dreams. See, I don't even know the name. I know the name of the red one, that's Fiery Red, because I repurchased that one. This one is supposed to be a brown lip stain, but not only does it not stain your lips brown, but the only way to get it even to show up as brown is to let it sit on your lips for like two hours. And that's the only way it'll maintain its brownness. Otherwise, you're getting a purple stain. So they lied. So don't get this one. Get Fiery Red. That's a good one. This I only used up to here. Even though I actually really like this. Because it, the stain that it leaves is so bright pink. That if you over apply, your lips are just going to look so pink. It is the My Lip Balm Mint Earl Grey. I don't know if they still sell this at all. I know they don't sell it in the US, but I, I don't know if they still sell this at all. It's actually a good lip balm if you can find it, but I, I can't with the stain. And it's very old, like I bought this in 2020. So it can go, it's, it's had its time. This is very hard, you can hear that. It's a hard ball matte eye primer in the shade nude which isn't and yeah it, it worked the little sliver i got to try but then it hardened up so i literally can't use this ulta beauty's samples are trash <laughs> like of their own brand not of you know samples this is recent actually queen g from the Snow White Collection from ColourPop. This is a Luxe Lip Gloss. This actually I really like. It smells like apples but very candy and it's a thick gloss but as you can see the color is not something I'd wear every day and given the fact that I don't even wear lip gloss that often I prefer a clear gloss if anything. So yeah, got to go. This is Casablanca from Tom Ford. This is a light pink shade and though it is very pink oh that other one kind of rubbed off i was going to compare the two this is a <laughs> this is a darker pink and on my lips i use it for two-tone lips so when i want to leave the bottom pink and the top black usually i, I when i do a cow look or brown this is a good blending shade to create the pink that i like but this is literally expire like again 2020 but this is a nice pink i actually like this pink and even though it's like 80 dollars i actually would buy this again if i had the money to this is noel from color street my mom gave me this one this is a red glitter lipstick and I was going to keep it except for the fact that it has green speckles in it. So she can have that back. This is a brown glitter. Gl gl 
Mm. Brown glittery lipstick. But it just looks like shine on my lips. It doesn't really look brown in the slightest. I will keep this around if I want to do like a brat's look. But if I don't, then it's kind of pointless to have. But as you can see, it's just shiny. It doesn't really do any brown. So I do like it. I just never use it. All of these are lip liners that I barely, if ever, use. Okay, I did get, okay, I knew I gave the eyeliner, but it was because I could still use this one, the Kaja eyeliner that went with the wink stamp. Yeah, this, this can go because it's expired in the terms of eye products. Like, I, I had it for over a year, so it can go. But I knew it. I was like, I know I put it in here. Oh, and this eyeliner too, Urban Decay Zero. This was a sample. Anyways, these lip liners. This is ColourPop. Oh my God, why am I dropping everything? BFF3. This is KKW Red 1. This is um, a Makeup Revolution Silk X Collection lip liner. I don't remember the name, it came on the box. And this is Spicy from NYX Suede. All of these are either not the color that I need or not a color that I wear. So, can go. This actually did like when I still had the lip balm. The lip balm was the perfect brown. But the actual color of this lip liner is just so a lot. <laughs> so yeah, these can go. Also, the NYX Suede, don't ever buy those. Get the Lime Louds if you're looking for a good, cheap lip liner. NYX Lime Loud. This is the NK Black Lipstick. I have the Milani one, and this one is very shiny. Like, I like matte lips, and since I have a black lip gloss from NYX now, I don't really need any shiny lipsticks. Eyeliners. This is from About Face, and this is from Maybelline. This is from Influencer, this Maybelline one. I actually like this, but as you can see, I never sharpened it. I used just what was on the little tip here, and never again. It's a very chunky glitter, and I tried it at, like in my inner corner, and I tried it under my eyes for like, you know, different types of styles of makeup, and it just didn't work. So I don't know how else I would use this, so it's kind of pointless to keep. And this is just dry. <laughs> I don't know if it's the product or if it's me. Like, it could be the product. I don't know because it was kind of sort of dry when I got it. But I have bright greens, so I don't need the lip lip liner, eyeliner anymore. Because that's primarily why I got this. So I could do like a bright inner corner. But now I have tiny brushes and bright greens and eyeshadow. So that's easier for me to do. And then other eye things is these eye paints and eyeshadow sticks. This is from Lottie London. I, I think these are discontinued, but Minty Fresh. I did a review on this. Um, I like the color, but it doesn't show up, really. This is Aspen from Sia. This is from Super Great. Um, it's a very white thing. And like I said, with tassel, it's just I don't need it. It's not a thing that I would need. For the type of makeup that I do so it can go and this is the Laura Mercier strapless birthday gift it's so old if it's a birthday gift I didn't even get my birthday gift last year so yeah it's actually a nice color I just barely used it and it's very old I don't play with eye products <laughs> last two. Oh, three. This is the Grown Alchemist lip balm. It smells like watermelon. I think it is watermelon scented. It doesn't say it anywhere, but I think it's watermelon scented. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's leaking. One. That's why I don't like this packaging. It's very expensive too. I searched this up because it was for free, but I did search it. Oh yeah, vanilla watermelon. I knew it was somewhere. And 
it's just it's so much money for such not only little product but bad packaging and bad product and the box was so big it irked me so i didn't use it and the actual product not only do i have to use my finger because it's a flat top not an actual like applicator in there but it's so sticky and it gets all over everything and it's a good mask when you don't put on too much but there's no way to discern when you're putting on too much you know so i can't with this no this is the same thing like that it's very sticky i had this in the like trial size where it's not a click up it's just a twist up and I actually like that better this one i used to you know where you can see it so i only got a little bit left because it was all the way down there but um i'm just kind of done with it <laughs> i already used up a mini and halfway used up a full so i just i'm done i do not care to use this up anymore especially because i'm not really into the pink lip look as dramatic as this one is this one is lip stain lipsticks my sister got this for me but i broke my favorite one or not even really broke i just rolled it up and it fell off um so yeah this is not really going to be decluttered because i'm obviously going to keep it like look at it but i don't use this one because it's not even like a good red it just bleeds everywhere i don't know how they're in the exact same package and they are different but yeah this one is gone and this one i don't really like so bye but yeah that is all of the things that i wanted to declutter that were in these bags now let's look at some now let's look at some palettes and then we'll be done now as i said i've been going through all of these products for months and that's why this isn't like a standard declutter where you actually look inside of everything that i usually do because i already picked out the products so i've already separated all of these palettes into what i'm going to do with them things might change but generally this is how it's going to go all of these are being decluttered not even because i hate them but because i literally have no use for them so this one as you can see is just a quad <laughs> and while i actually really do like this quad i only use this shade this is very light and these shimmers are just not shimmers that i use on my eyes it's just not i've tried multiple times it didn't work out so this whole thing can go same thing with this essence and me don't get along i feel like i try and it fails again the shimmers no i don't like thick shimmers actually i like like sparkly like sheer translucent and then the mattes are just you know they're fine <laughs> this ulta palette is a free one that came in the bag i was gonna depot the blush but there's no use i'm probably not gonna use it and this these two palettes i bought nosta nostalgia playlist i did a review on this i actually like all of them except for when they're on my eyes meaning it's not a good palette <laughs> and then this one actually i really like it and i mean i'm keeping all of these until i can give them away like when i say i'm not keeping it i just mean it's not going to be in my inventory but i really actually do like this one where the heck does it open but not only is it bulky but there's only these five shades in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's supposed to be this way. I'm standing up, by the way, so gotta reorient myself. There's only five shades in it. Two highlighters and the three blushes. I don't use this for my eyes because my skin is oily. It doesn't work for my eyes. But you can use them anywhere. Lips, eyes, face, whatever. <sighs> But the way that I use them is just as blush, meaning I'm not going to reach into here. And this big old bulky thing just to get a freaking blush, especially when I have blush shades that are similar to this. So I never use the highlighters or the blush, so gone. Now these are all of the ones that I wanted to pot. All of the ColourPop ones are ones that I still want, but since it's ColourPop, I don't declutter it, I just depot it since they're all magnetic. I can always put them back if I want to like give them away or whatever. <sighs> Probably not going to give them away. That was ColourPop. I like all of these. Um, <laughs> anyways, this is the main squeeze. 
then the orange you glad which this is the thing is i said a lot of these things in my last oh my god let me drop and stuff i said all of these things in my last declutter i was like well if i really don't like something i'll just depot it so you know you'll find out the next time and now it's happening this one i actually do like some of the shades in here like this shimmer i used before or these mattes i used before but i don't ever go into this palette you know not that I use my single shadows more, but I use them more than I use these palettes. So that's saying something. That's taupe. I only like a couple of shades in here because like this entire top row is irrelevant to me, you know? So there's a couple of these palettes where it's like, if they don't work alone for me, then I don't use them because all of my ColourPop palettes are arranged in color order. So if I'm looking at them like this, I can just choose that way because I, I can't see when I'm doing my makeup. I don't wear my glasses when I'm doing it. So if I need to reach in real quick and this is not a color that I go for, then it's kind of pointless to keep it together now. Okay, this one. I haven't used it on my eyes, but I don't want to. And there's only two shimmers. So I think I'm going to just take those out and put the matte somewhere else because besides this and this purple, I don't think I'm going to use the other ones. Maybe this one, it's very deep. But yeah, anyways. Like, there's just a lot of these where it's either I got them and never used them. So it's like, what is the point in just holding them here? And there's other ones where, like, I knew from the jump, I kind of just wanted the packaging. Like this one, Cabana Club. This was only $7 from its original price, whatever that was. And I just wanted the packaging. So <laughs> I got it. So I think I'm going to do this one like I did my garden variety and just cut out all of this cardboard and make this a magnetic palette because I like the the packaging on this one. I actually like the shades too, looking at them. Like just these two together would make such a pretty look. And then this purple is nice. This pink is nice. Like there's a lot of nice colors in here, but just all together, I'm not wearing this for whatever reason. Nothing gets me to actually go and use this. So that's the ColourPop stack. And then we have Discontinued Brand, Muse Beauty. I primarily want to take this chunk out, whatever this insert is, put a little magnetic sheet down here and make this into a magnetic palette because I like the packaging more than I like the shades in here. And these shimmers do not work for me. So I wanna keep these three mattes, maybe this one too, but it's just very white on me, but it's a pink tone white and my skin is pink, so you know. It's a good blending shade for other pinks. Anyways, the whole point is these shimmers suck. Um, I don't like flat shimmers. Like I said, I like sparkly ones. So I'd prefer to just have these mattes and the packaging. So depotting this. This is the Impressionism palette. And I would keep this together except for the fact that I literally never use it when it's together. I like, is that scintillate? and aurels those are nice shades and wisp is even nice but it's just very white and parasol is a nice green like there's a lot of shades in here that i actually like but i don't come in here that much when i think of oh i need to use a palette it's never this one so this can get depotted too maybe i'll make a magnetic thing out of this i don't know that's the thing i do not know what i'm gonna do i just think i don't want them together anymore same thing with this Fenty one. I know these are magnetic because Laura May Beauty actually depotted hers and she was like, why are they glued down and magnetic? That's kind of stupid. Um, so I like this packaging, but I think I'm going to have to destroy it to get these out because I've tried to get it out with just a magnet and just like digging in, but um, kind of sort of just damaged the sides of the packaging. So I think I'm going to actually like have to rip this apart. Maybe I'll just cut off the top and keep it as a mirror because I really, really like the packaging. But I don't use these highlighters um, anymore. I used to use it when I literally only had like two palettes. But now that I have way more, this is just not a thing that I think of. And then these two BH Cosmetics ones. The Mimosa. I wanted to pop this one specifically for the fact of it just being pink. And I like pink, but not on my eyes that often. So I think it'd be better if I could just move it around and put it with some other colors because I just don't pick up this palette because I know it's just going to be pink. <laughs> and then Trending in Tokyo, well, Trendy in Tokyo, this is obviously an old one. Look at the packaging. 
and the first palette I ever got from BH, well, first one of these, I had the old looking ones and like the black packaging, but all of these shades are not the same. As you can see the hard pan, some of these shimmers are just bad. Some of these mattes are just irrelevant. <laughs> so yeah, I would just take like this pink, this red specifically, this is like my favorite red. This purple, maybe this purple, maybe this yellow, this blue up here, this green, like there's a couple of shades I would take out, but the rest of this is garbage. <laughs> like, oh my God. I, I clearly need to swatch them again, but from what I remember, the only thing good about these are the mattes and barely all of them because this yellow is literally the worst. Um, so yeah, I like this, but it gotta, it gotta go. Like some of these I really actually like, I just, I do not use them. And I think that would solve it if I departed them and moved them around with some light colors. And last but not least, in this box is all of the things I want to retry or work on or whatever the heck. This is the Joa Drinks on Me. And not only is it the worst to open, oh my god, this got mirrors all the way around it. <laughs> but it literally has the worst shades. Like... I literally only like these middle three mattes and these three shimmers. This one's okay for my like inner corner thing I like to do, but it's just very hard to get any of these shimmer shades to pick up and these green shades are trash. So yeah, I really only like six shades out of the 12 and that's not really a good ratio. I only like half the palette, especially when it's not depotable because it kind of sort of means you're just stuck with this. So yeah, I don't want to give this away because it's like, you know, I don't want to give somebody a trash palette, especially when I dug all around, but I don't know what to do with it. So I don't know if I'm going to declutter this, depot it, whatever. I just know I don't know. <laughs> Same thing with this. I don't want to get rid of it because it was just such a hassle getting it, but the flower jungle lights palette is actually really pretty. I just, I don't wear it on my eyes that often. So I don't know what to do, you know? So I need to try this again. The Milani Gilded Gold. Now this, I want it so bad. And now that I have it, I barely wear it. Why? Because it sucks. So it's not even like it actually sucks. It's just all of the mattes blend away to nothing. I have the cover over it, by the way. That's why it's so shiny. I have used it before. Like I'm not, I'm not lying. Um, but yeah, as you can see. It's like so shimmery and shifty and it has a lot going for it, but the mattes are trash. Like I, they blend away to nothing on me and, and maybe it's my eyes. Cause my cousin has, my cousin has this exact same palette and she loves it. That's why I actually wanted this, but it doesn't work the same on me. Then we have this Doll Squad palette from Doll 10. Got this from Super Great. It's a good redeem. It's actually a nice neutral palette i just literally don't put any of the shimmers on my lid and the mattes are amazing but they're very very light so if you don't want a wash of color sucks um but yeah i like this i just i don't know what to do with it it is magnetic though the actual um containers for the shades i've tried it um with my magnet but can't get this out so if I can depot this I actually would and then this can just go or be some other vessel because the mirror in here is nice but um yeah these are all the palettes oh actually no this is another palette technically um that I need to test this middle shade is just irrelevant on my skin so I tried to depot that one first because I've seen people actually succeed in depotting these and they're magnetic once you depot them. You just have to actually depot them and they don't have the uh, holes on the back like the big palettes, which is stupid. I hate gluing in magnetic things because why make it magnetic then, you know? Um, these are the shades. This is the Baby Beba palette I got it from 
one of these Sephora favorites things. And yeah, I really like this shade. This shade is irrelevant and this shade is irrelevant. I really like this shade. So I need to try this whole palette again and see if I want to keep it for just this one shade. Then we have my blushes. And that would be the Powerpuff Girls and ColourPop. Discontinued, obviously. And this ColourPop one in Toffee Cake. And then this Rare Beauty Joy. I actually think I don't like this and I don't want to keep it. But I need to try it more because I just, I haven't worn it that much. But while comparing it to the um, e.l.f. Uh, liquid blushes I realized that I like the elf one more because it was more pink so maybe if I wear this with more orange stuff this will be better I don't know though then some lip stuff this is the Primark spice lip liner and the NYX suede actually you know what I've decided I don't want this because the suede ones just aren't good, like, and I have a lot of brown lip liners, so I'm most likely not going to use this. This I, I wanted to use as a lipstick because I like the color, but this I would only use as a lip liner. And it's just very hard. Oh, actually, this is vintage. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because it's like, it goes with my um liquid lipstick. Yeah. I don't think I even said the name. But... I don't know I, I just I don't think I'm gonna use this because these lip liners are just so hard and for my liquid lipstick I don't think I'm gonna actually use the lip liner but this is vintage this is smoother than I remember it maybe mm, this can go declutter yep decided these eye paints are old they smelled old when I got them from super great but I was just so glad to get them I need to use all of these before I 100% give them away I mean throw them away because these are like liquid eye products so can't use them for long but these I can use on my face too so as long as I don't break it on my face I'm probably gonna keep them for my face um but they are eye paints and this is the Maybelline? Yes, it is. Color Tattoo. I got this from Influencer. This I needed to try and see if I was going to do something with it because it's just a very shiny purple. Probably not, but it's new, so I'm just I'm keeping it to test it out because I just got it. This Cream Shop Lip Stain. I actually like the other ones that I have, but this one's a very bright pink, so I'd rather just use my red one instead of the pink. So I'm going to test this out, see if I want it as like a blush or anything. And then if I don't, garbage. This is the Maybelline Shadow Block. I actually put this back in after decluttering it in like two declutters past. Because I was like, mm, this actually makes a good look. And I primarily like this top shadow right here. So yeah, this I need to test again. I'm not going to 100% put it back in until I'm sure. This is the Doja Cat blush palette. I don't know if I'm going to depot it or what. So, testing that out. And then the last two things in here is this Natasha Denona Zendo Single in the shade Sense. I don't use this often, but it is a nice fiery red shade on me. And then this Kaja Joystick. Now, I actually was going to pull this out today and be like, okay, declutter. But I think I just need to try it again and see if I actually want to declutter it. Because the main reason why I don't use it is because it's all the way down here at the bottom. Like, all of this is just packaging. Like, <laughs> the joystick part is just fun to use. But it's not really the way I use the product. I need a whole separate blush. Blush? Brush. To use it. Also, I think this is just discontinued but yeah these are all the things that I'm going to be trying to use up and that is all the things that I'm decluttering I think 
I actually just tried the vintage lip liner on my lips and it's actually really good. It's still very dry and hard like the suede lip liners are, but I actually like it on the lips. It's very dark and very purple. So I'm actually going to see if I can finish it. So there's back in my little finish it box. So yeah, that was my little spring cleaning, little declutter before I give things away to people, which is honestly primarily why I declutter is that I want to record that I'm giving these things away so I can have record of me actually having it. Uh, Cause if I don't record it or record it in my inventory, I kind of sort of forget that it existed. So yeah, now I have record of all of that happening. Um, I'm very lost about my book. I should probably start writing that again. But yeah, that was my video. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch some other ones while you're here, especially the e.l.f. review one. It's probably my last video if I didn't upload something in between this. And, you know, do all the things you need to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Um, anything else that could possibly give me engagement. Even if you thumbs it down, do that. Engagement. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bye.